Hey boys and girls, it's Kathleen Ems here, and today I'm going to be playing Barrel at Sea Episode 1. The new part of this DLC comes out next week, so I figured I'd refresh my memory by playing this again. I'm going to be playing the second part of this DLC with a reaction cam and totally blind, but until then, let's refresh our memory and play the first part of the DLC. Closed. You don't look the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. <coughs> Notice the doll. <sighs> what do you want? How about we start with a light? Okay, so throughout this DLC, I'm going to kind of be talking, obviously, since this is commentary, but pointing out some important details that I didn't realize the first time I played. Uh, because the great thing about Bioshock is that Ken Levine always puts these little details, and the developers, I'm, I mean, of the game, always put these little details in that oh, just totally foreshadow the ending of the DLC. And even though, you know, we can't tell what the significance of it is yet. I mean, look at that. There's a doll head right there that looks just like Elizabeth. And the date is December 31st, 1958. That's important because we know from Bioshock that that is the date where Rapture goes to hell. So in the next part of the DLC, we're probably going to see what led to the unfolding of this Rapture. Um, although there are some differences in this Rapture because of the constants and variables. There's different variables in this Rapture than the Rapture that we visited in Bioshock. But this is... Our Elizabeth, I believe, but I'll get to that later. Let's get back to the game. Well, you gotta name this. Elizabeth. Love that outfit. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. With Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you know. As I said, girl's dead. Lost. Look, hmm. I don't know where you get... Lost isn't dead. Name your radar will pay you for this work. But you do this one gratis, wouldn't you? Hmm. I don't follow. Something tells me you will. She is much more cold in this DLC, which may, uh, there's a couple of details that I think show that this Elizabeth is a lot older than the Elizabeth in the actual game. I think this is many years ahead. And she obviously doesn't care about this booker because, I mean, uh, she's, she's very cold to him. <laughs> But I'll try not to spoil anything. Seems my instincts were correct. Where's Sally? I don't know. But I know someone who does. Oh. Follow me. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Getting to see Rapture before it became the Rapture that we knew in Bioshock 1. I've been wanting... Oh, God. This is amazing. And all of the people here are brilliant. I'll remind you. The people that fill the streets of Rapture are brilliant scientists, artists. What's this girl to you? What I need from her is my business. But I know where to start looking. And I'm definitely tells me a man with your particular talents could be useful. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to linger on the details a little bit here because if you're not playing this DLC and and observing everything. You're really missing out. Good afternoon. Lust. I guess that's like a pinup. Wow, look at that. Great. Was los? Ain't you playing the ponies no more? You're too good for the boys to track now. 
Mm. Referencing Booker's obvious um, gambling problem. Wow. Damn. Mmm, I want one. What do you want? Re An autograph? Remember uh, when I said in my analysis that there are so many similarities to Columbia? There is a scene like this in Columbia. But notice that the roles are reversed. A white man is shining the shoes of a black guy. That would not have happened above the surface, obviously. Then Einstein would have remained a patent clerk. It's our responsibility to strive. Here, here. He looks so sad. Hmm. One of many biracial couples that we'll see in this DLC. Another really really amazing part about rapture very accepting of friend. couples such a shame both same sex couples biracial couples any cup any coupling that edward thinks the occurs. way my heart is philosophical transcendence he's brilliant and if i wanted brilliant i'd go to bed with a book you're just trapped by Ooh, little sisters just a matter of time before ryan screws round up anybody talks bad about him i mean just look what happened to Frank Fontaine. Doesn't this remind you of Columbia? The, um... How they recruit young boys? Just saying. There's little sisters. These children? Green means what are they? This is Where have you been? Cabin in Arcadia? Little sisters. Atom factories. It's a great I hope we find out a little bit more about that in the second part. All we really know... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna say, but we, we know very little... Hey, keep moving, buddy. ...about that. Like, where are all these orphans coming from? Are they importing them? Like, stealing them from the surface? Compromise? Is that why we came to Rapture? I could compromise in Red Hook. Where'd you go? Come on, come on. Obviously, I'm not going to stop for every conversation because this DLC would be this would be a little bit long if I did that. What do they even look like under those suits? What you mean? They just some kind of machine? And this is how the DLC introduces the new ability that the big daddies have. Great bit of cinematic foreshadowing there. Say, you should have to you're properly versed on a topic before you're allowed to vote on it. Ugh. Otherwise, it's just a knee-jerk response from the uninformed. Does more harm than good. Who would judge that? A system like that invites abuse? Yep. Having a benevolent dictatorship takes care of that. Benevolence isn't human nature. Exactly. Interesting bit of conversation there. I, you know, what's interesting is I hear that argument all the time from people that say that you should be more versed, you should... But really, that's a form of discrimination against low-income people that can't afford a greater education. Get on with it. Do you have any idea how that There's the missing... missing girls. Oh, look, that... the one on the left really looks like a little sister. to cut the tallest flower up there. Do something exceptional. Those parasites resent or worse yet. Great bit of uh, propaganda right there. Same sex couple right here. That would have not happened on the surface. No way. Man. I mean, even seeing this in my town, most same sex couples wouldn't be embracing each other in public in my town, but I, I mean, I do. I, I don't care. <laughs> he works for Ryan's security firm. I got it firsthand. Looks a fellow from the inside out. 
damn thing a weapon or an oven? Works with mini rays or, or micro. Like if I'm with a girl, I mean I don't have any problem showing PDA in public, but I get back I get weird looks. Me can go ahead and inherit the earth for all I care. I'm fine right here in Rapture. See, oh, Rapture, like, when when you're playing the game, you don't get to really experience, when you're playing Bioshock 1 and 2, you don't really get to experience all the beautiful aspects of Rapture. Why people would come in the first place. You know, when you see murder and destruction, you don't think anyone would live there, but this is a really ideal place for people who are scientists, artists. Um, I probably would have lived here because it would have been the only place that I could be openly gay. Funny. What? You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture, I thought it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. You know, sweetheart. DeWitt. The hostage sees you, he'll toss you out on your ass again. Hmm. More missing posters. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it. Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken, down at Surprise. You were playing the tables and... She disappeared. And? A cop friend of mine, Sullivan, says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children, not childhood. Mm. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. Now we know why I'm she's so enraged away. about it. Shh. Mr. DeWitt, you all right? I'm fine. I just get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. Hmm. That shows, of course, that he's in a... Um, he's in a universe where he doesn't belong. Also, now it really makes sense why she's so enraged. She didn't get a childhood either. She was experimented on her whole childhood. Madam? We're fine, thanks. Ha, ah, that's awesome. I went through basic, decent sort, but the Italians, Papa this, Papa that. They can't take a crap without a papal dispensation. Well, that is racist. He gets that from his father. No one from my side of the family was ever so lucky. Ah, Mr. DeWitt. Back again. And so soon. Oh, man. Yeah, DeWitt definitely has an alcohol problem. About the I mean, what is this? Oh, let's see what this is. Are you in the know? Innovation and competition are what fuel rapture. But that fuel can be diluted with rumor or flat out lies. The rumor monger asks, what are these so-called splicing side effects? Well, take a look around you. Do you see anything wrong with your neighbor? The rumor monger asks, why has Tenenbaum withdrawn from the public's eye? Hmm. Dr. Tenenbaum is a scientific mind unparalleled, even in Rapture. She's no doubt in her lab, toiling away at her next great innovation. I heard she was in cahoots with Fontaine. Merely slander from jealous naysayers. Remember, Rapture competes through innovation, 
not cheap shots. Bridget Tenenbaum is a woman who represents the best of science and industry. In other words, she's a rapture gal. Now you know. Huh. I hope Tenenbaum is in the uh, second part of the DLC. Some people theorize that Elizabeth is the Tenenbaum of this universe. I don't really believe that, but, you know. Decided to start ringing in the new year a bit earlier. So cool. How is Ryan taking over Fontaine's business? Any different than, say, eminent domain? It's just the hand of government. I don't have all the flaws and drawbacks other people have. You know, emotions. <laughs> I'm just... Mr. DeWitt. We'll find my source inside of that club. A cone? What does that lunatic have to do with Sally? Yeah! One of my favorite characters from the first game. Private party. No entry without invitation. We'll see about that. Which business do you represent, sir? Uh, business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected. No mask, no entry. Stuff shirt. These invitation masks he spoke of. They must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business of Rapture is business. It says it's sponsored by the artist struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. I guess those stores would be as good a place to start as any. It doesn't matter which order you go in, the last door is the one with the mask. Okay, I'm gonna pause this for a second because I want some more what coffee. you to Rapture? A man. Wait, let's really? listen to this first. You don't strike me as the romantic type. Wasn't that kind of man. Then what? There's a debt that needs repaying. Huh. I've known my share of Shylocks. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of dead. Irrational Games is done. Ken Levine abandoned ship, and the company that created Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite is now no more. After they released the 